So recently I got the chance to go to Great Exuma in the Bahamas and I was there for some vacation and I got the opportunity to do a little bit of spear fishing. Uh, I was staying in Georgetown and right off of Georgetown uh, there's a couple of reefs outside of the national park so I decided to go ahead and take a shot. I rented a boat for the day and went out there. And you see this grouper in just a second. Oh run Nassau go fast. He knows I'm onto him. He's running from me. He doesn't like it. Uh, swimming through these reefs was really nice. It actually reminded me of South Florida and Biscayne National Park. I see a lot of brain coral and boulder star coral and the grouper runs right into that rock at the end and I think I do four or five dives trying to find him. I didn't have my light on me and so I gave up and it was time to go get some lunch. It was around two o'clock and my rental ended at 4 30 so party time. So actually not a party, we had lunch and uh, afterwards we went up to the north part of the island to go see some uh, reefs which ended up being dead. There was absolutely nothing on them. So in light of this new information, dead reefs, no fish, the clock is ticking, uh, it's probably about 3.30 and I need to get the boat back by 4.30. I hightailed it back down south where I saw that grouper. So I'm back down at the spot where the Nassau ran into. <clears throat> it was just a small hole at the bottom of the rock. And I take my first shot, uh, shooting blind, no dice. I go back down for my second try, and I just saw the edge of the fin in the light. And I, I didn't quite capture it with the camera, but uh, I knew uh, I was in for success. Uh, so I just kind of took my time, sat down there at the bottom and lined up, and magic. The grouper's going crazy. Uh, you know, I, I could see that I'm running out of time. I need to grab my flashlight, so I feel for it in the muck. Uh, finally get a hold of it, and I pull the grouper out, and naturally oh, my camera God. dies. Uh, back up at the top, I'm super excited. Uh, get my first good look at this big boy, and I'm just elated, uh, absolutely. Uh, Anchoring was difficult, it was windy at this point, there was some current going on, so I anchored kind of far away. Uh, just barely got the boat anchored uh, in the sand before it went too far away. And so I'm trying to keep the fish out of the water, keep the sharks away, and I'm thinking it's all good, so I'm just going to throw this fish on the boat. Oh, hell no! Oh, hell yeah! On my sarong, you just placed a fish on it? This motherfucker! I was one happy motherfucker. I'll tell you what. All oh, right, that's a nice yellow fig groove right there. I don't know what size measurement that was, but uh, that's how big it was. That's I guess easy. to me, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go home. I think I had like 10 minutes left at this point. So I got it back to the dock. And uh, it was $300 for the rental, $120 in gas at seven bucks a gallon. Like a yellow fin in the Bahamas. This one's definitely bigger than the first one. The first one we ate was yellow fin. And it was totally worth it. I recommend it. Go to Exuma. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.